The South African Navy is in the final stages of commissioning its second multi-mission inshore patrol vessel, MIP, as part of Project Biro, with the commissioning expected at the end of October, Guy Martin reports in Defense Web. Project Biro, currently 71% complete, is a strategic initiative aimed at bolstering the naval capabilities of South Africa by acquiring three MIPs. The first vessel, named SAS King Sekikun I, was delivered in May 2022, and the second vessel, SAS King Shaka Zulu, is nearly complete, having successfully completed acceptance trials. The third vessel, SAS Chief Adam Koch, is currently 55% complete and is scheduled for completion in August 2024, slightly behind the original schedule. Significant progress has been made in terms of training for the crews of these MIPs, with a shore training completed and the training of the second MIP crew nearly finalized, while training for the third vessel's crew is in progress. Additionally, substantial strides have been made in the development of boarding and sea boats for each MIP. The first sea boat has already been delivered, the second sea boat has been accepted, and sea trials for the third sea boat have been successfully concluded. Similarly, the first boarding boat has been delivered, the second has completed sea trials, and the third boarding boat has recently completed construction. The entire project Biro is slated for completion by August 2025, with a total cost estimated at our 3.8 billion. As of now, our 2.9 billion has already been expended on the project. It's worth noting that Damon Shipyard's Cape Town, DSCT, has extended the option to order additional MIPS until December 31, 2023, Guy Martin mentions. These MIPS, based on the DSCT Stand Patrol 6211 design platform, are 62 meters in length, weigh 750 tons, boast an economical speed of 20 knots, and have a range of 2,000 nautical miles. Each vessel is equipped with a Reutec 20mm Super C Rogue Marine gun and a Reutec Fort, Frequency Modulated Optical Radar Tracker, Low Probability of Intercept, LPI, Optronics Radar Tracking System. These new vessels, acquired under Project Biro, are versatile and designed to undertake various missions, including patrol, mine countermeasures, deep diving training, search and rescue, submarine torpedo recovery, humanitarian assistance, and anti-pollution tasks. They will replace older strike craft in the South African Navy and significantly enhance its maritime capabilities, especially since the last large vessels were introduced into service in the early 2000s. Originally, Project Biro had ambitions to acquire six inshore patrol vessels and six offshore patrol vessels. However, due to budget constraints, the South African Navy has opted to proceed with three inshore patrol vessels as part of the project.